Hi, this is Programo and welcome to my channel. Nandito na naman tayo ngayon dahil wala tayo doon. <laughs> More than 5 months na na tayo nasa quarantine. Nakakalungkot lang isipin na marami pa rin nagkakasakit at wala pa rin vaccine. At dahil dito, marami tayong mga anxieties na nararamdaman. No? Fear na nakakalungkot na ito ang nangyayari ngayon. Pero hindi mo naman kailangan malungkot. Dahil marami naman pwedeng gawin para mas maging maingat tayo. So, isa na yun ay ang pagsuot ng face mask. Yan. So, lagi ako nagsusuot ng face mask. Actually, required na siya by law. Yan. Paglalabas ng bahay. So, pero rin dapat kayong face shield. Paglalabas kayo, pagpupunta kayo ng grocery, o pag may kailangan kayong bayaran sa banko, yung mga essential things na kailangan yung gawin outside, makikita nyo na marami nang nakaganito. So, again, We are wearing these things to protect ourselves. Actually, mainit siya, mahirap siya, pero mas mahirap sigurong magkasakit. At mas mahirap rin na mahawa ang ating mga mahal sa buhay o makahawa tayo sa iba. Isang maliit na sakripisyo sa atin para hindi na rin mahirapan ang ating mga medical frontliners. Just a reminder that please wear your mask and then kung may face shield ka, better also. Yeah. So anyway, so... Tapos ako, pagdating na pagdating ko, yung face mask ko, lalaban ko siya agad. Kasi nabasa ko rin yun na, syempre, didi-disinfect mo rin. So please, continue to be safe. Let us work together to make sure that we are all taking care of each other, especially our loved ones. Uh, simple things of wearing a mask or wearing a face shield when you go outside will go a long, long way in order to make sure that this pandemic ends. I hope you are just okay. And one of the things that I found very effective in order to appease my fear is to really pray. And sinabi ko nga nung first vlog ko, yung family namin, we pray the rosary every night. At the end of the day, ang kakapitan mo ng matindi, eh, mong Diyos. At alam mong God will always protect you. Umuulan ng malakas ngayon sa labas, so let me just be here inside and talk to you about your wildest dreams. Yes, your wildest dreams. Why? For <laughs> At bilalag lang. First, let us define dream. Ano ba yung dream? Hindi yung panaginip pa. Yung pangarap mo. Okay? Dreams, no? These are goals in your life. These are visions of yourself. These are missions that you would want to accomplish. Dreams. E ano naman yung wild? Wild, di ba parang dapat ano siya? Crazy, out of this world, out of the box. It has to be a wild dream. Why? Why? Kailangan pakuluin ang dugo mo at sabihin sa sarili mo na kailangan mo nang gawin ito. Kailangan mo nang i-achieve yun. I remember when I was 27, I had a book. Actually, this one, I tried to submit on different publications and all I got was rejection! Uh, rejection, actually. Masaya na lang ako ngayon, but when I was receiving all those rejections, it was so, so bad. At any rate, I remember writing on this uh, manuscript na lang, kasi hindi naman siya naging libro. I've written here five wildest dreams when I was 27. So that was a few years back. What? One year. <laughs> okay, number one. I want this book to be an inspiring bestseller. Well, sadly, it did not come true. So, don't laugh at me. Second, I want to write more inspirational books. Alin yung ba't ko ba sinishare sa iyo? Para mapapahiya lang ako. I felt that I wanted to write my own book and get it published. But the thing is, number one and number two dreams did not happen. Pero ano ba yung number three ko? Number three ko at that time was, I want to meet my one true beloved with thunder and lightning. Ulan lang ngayon eh. Walang kulog at kidlat. Well, hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa siya nakikita. Okay, fourth, I want to live as a traveler of the world. Hopping from one country to another, I think this one came true. Okay? This one. Traveling. Number five, I want to be extremely rich. Yes, I wrote it. Ayan, no? Uh, sinulat ko siya talaga. Among the five wildest dreams when I was in 27, only one came true. And why am I sharing this? I don't know. I wanted to share this because, yes, you have to write your dreams. In order for you to have that giggle, yan, yung giggle, narinig ko yan sa isang katrabaho eh. Yung kailangan may giggle ka, eh, nagkakaroon ka lang ng giggle, di ba parang pag 
napakalaki ng pangarap mo. Sa, sa sobrang laki niya, feeling mo, hindi siya para sa iyo. <laughs> o sa sobrang laki niya, feeling mo, ang hirap-hirap niya i-achieve. I'm so comfortable sharing this. It's because there's nothing wrong with dreaming. And I recently encountered niya a quotation that says that the dream that is so big that you have right now is just the right size for you. So it's never too big, it's never too small. It, it is your dream. And if it's your dream, you can actually achieve it. It doesn't mean that it will never happen. Malay niya, pag naging successful itong vlog ko, magkaroon ako ng libro. And it's still an aspiration of mine. That I just replace it with other dreams. So kung mabag malaki yun at tupad kung pangarap yung to travel around the world, you know, hopping from one country to another. So that I was able to do, and that is the reason why I did not become extremely rich because I spent the money on traveling. I meet my beloved with thunder and lightning. Kasi simply, marami na rin times na tayo na in love, pero wala pa yata ng na sisiraan ng bait para mahalin ako. <laughs> Wildest dreams are something that you feel you cannot achieve, but there is a great possibility that you can achieve it. You can cite a lot of people who have achieved dreams, even at that time where there were so many great odds that are facing them. Iba, marami ka na rin na, oh, hindi mo pala natupad yung pangarap mo, ba't mo sasabihin sa amin na mangarap pa? Siguro kasi nga, hindi naman po, kaya hindi ko natupad yung mga pangarap ko, hindi mo matutupad yung mga pangarap mo, di ba? Yeah, I'm gonna talk. Sorry. <laughs> What I'm saying is that it's never bad to dream. You can always replace your dream. There are dreams that you feel that you tried, but probably it's not for you, so you try to shift to another dream. For those people who are able to reach your dreams, di ba? Para ang saya, 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 saya. For example, I was able to go around the world, and that was one of my wildest dreams. May mga pangarap na maabot mo, at may mga pangarap siguro na iibayin mo lang, at pwede mo paring maabot. Bay, may mga storya nga ng mga pasali-sali ng contest hanggat hindi sila nanalo so masali sila ng contest and then one day they finally hit the championship they, and minsan ganun rin naman talaga sa buhay di ba? do not stop dreaming siguro yun lang gusto kong point out ngayon do not stop dreaming kung may mga pangarap kayo na parang hindi na yata matutupad edi eh, okay lang gawa ka ng ibang pangarap do not get stuck with the frustration that you have not reached your dream do not get frustrated With yourself, that you were not able to do it. Just as long as you have tried it, you put in the work, you've tried everything. Dreams make people wake up. Ah, yung dream na panagine ng yayaare pag tulog ka. Yung dream na pangarap mangkukuwa mo kung gising ka. Kailangan tuloy, 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 tuloy la. And I think that is what life has taught me now that I am at this age. A few years back, I was only 27. Then those five wildest dreams. Now that I'm at this age, I know that there are still dreams that I want to achieve. Please do not stop dreaming. Do not stop aiming for something that you would want in life. Life will throw you a lot of surprises. It might even frustrate you countless of times. But know this: you can continue dreaming. You can continue aspiring for something more, for something great. Even if you do not achieve your wildest dream, the journey will prepare you for something even greater. Your attempts will train you to actually reach the other dreams. The importance of reaching your dream is that you have the motivation to get up, to actually have the adrenaline rush, to live a more exciting life. You can think about your wildest dreams. And I hope that even if you get frustrated in the end, or even if sometimes you realize that dream will never be yours, think again. You can create another dream list. And then, habang buhay, you can discover something nice. You discover something nice sa buhay. Discover something nice sa pinas. Discover something nice sa mga pangarap mo. Like and subscribe to Gam Channel and click the notification bell. Think of your wildest dreams. I'm rooting for you. Woo!